Do you know about the hundred percent accuracy, bro? Let's go, baby. Welcome everyone, there is only one place I am landing today, one place I'm going to, it is obviously the brand new Loot Lake covered in purple bounce pads, but let me show you guys, if you haven't seen already, or have not even bought it yourself yet, now that is the best glider I've ever seen in the world. Guys, today we're going to talk about the fact that this season event is not over. Just because the cube has melted into the lake, there is more to come. What will be happening for the finale of this season? When will this season be ending and season 6 starting? And so many more questions we will be answering because it is not over yet. In fact, these guys are probably chilling somewhere underneath me. I've been landing here literally all day. Yeah, people bouncing around already. I already see it. Uh, a tweet from the vice president and also co-founder of Epic Games, the guys obviously make and develop Fortnite, has even said it is not over and it is never over in the world of Fortnite. That's why I want to talk about this because the biggest question, what is and what will the runes mean or even do from the seven cube locations, let's not forget that the runes are still on the map. That isn't solved yet, however, I have... SMGs are god. SMGs are the god weapon of Season 5 in Fortnite. I actually have a theory that I've been sitting on for quite a while now, and I want to share with you guys because it could be accurate and very, very true with what has happened recently. Now, I've got a big question for all of you guys. The question is... I want to uh, just leave a comment down below um, or maybe I'll write out two comments, but just let me know which you prefer, the rocket launch or the cube going into the lake. Which one do you think was more spectacular? Which one made you go wow more? Both of them are crazy, I can't lie, it's a tough choice. I think the rocket may have to take it for me just because of how we've never seen anything like that before. But I would like to know, this guy's clueless. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy didn't even stand a chance. If you spend enough time here, it seems like there's not many people. And yet, yeah, you can make grenades. Whoo! That is why I like to play on a slightly lower sensitivity, because I need to hit those shots. Otherwise, you are going to die. This is going to be... Can I try and get this off? I'm going to try... Oh, that was so close. I haven't managed to kill anyone with a bouncing item yet. By bouncing explosive. But I have damaged someone with a C4 when I was playing with Rich today. This person just stands for two seconds. I'll come over and nab the... I swear, whenever they're hitting a tree, they go left to right, left to right. Don't get me wrong, it's a smart thing to do. Oh, odds on. Odds on. First bounce kill. No. Okay, unfortunately, not even a hit marker. Once this person's down, I'm going to let you guys know when Season 5 is ending and Season 6 is starting. Because it is very, very close. This person, I feel like he's doing a lap of the map. Just to, like, almost troll me. Oh, she's still here, jeez. Okay, well, you know what? I need these bandages more than anything right now. So, you just leave me alone with your football outfit. And uh, I'll put these on. How does it sound? Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Okay. She's definitely coming back. Yeah, she wants to be dead. Okay, she wants- Okay, she wants to be dead. Chill, chill! Come on. Get me out of here. Whoa! I was about to say anything in the game to kill me, but she managed to do one damage to me with the shotgun. Honestly? Just let people bounce around you with this new loot lake and use your 100% accuracy to your advantage and you can get away with a lot more than you think, guys. So, Season 5 ends next Tuesday, Tuesday the 25th of September. That is when the season wraps up. That is typical for seasons to wrap up on a Tuesday. And then for there to be a few days break in between the start of the next season. Now, Season 6 is due to begin on Thursday next week, so a few days after Season 5 has ended. So if you need to get yourself any of those challenges completed to get the um, uh, secret skin for this season, make sure you're doing it now because this is your last, last chance. 
Now, obviously, the theme of Season 6 is a big question. There's been no rumors, nothing to base anything off of this season because nothing has been shown yet. Um, however, if we go back to the last few seasons, we'll know that we got teasers both times. Nothing in there really that can even afford, so I don't even know why I'm pretending to check. Um, we got teasers, first of all, for the superhero sort of theme that we got in Season 4. And then for Season 5, obviously this season, we got the masked theme and the, the rap ruptures in time with the bringing of the, um, the Vikings and then also the Drift skins and just like lots of different themes and massive, massive changes to the map. Now, as I said, we know nothing at the moment. However, those teasers started the weekend before the season kicking off. Which means I think teasers will start as soon as tomorrow. So keep an eye on the channel tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. That is when we'll be covering, uh, if my guess is correct, the very first teaser for the season. I cannot wait. It's going to be crazy. But it isn't all over yet. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh my god, minis. Thank you, god. Thank you, Fortnite gods. So the big thing, which I think everyone's looking over, is the fact that there are seven runes. Like, seven runes were marked on the ground as the cube went around the map. And... Like, I feel like it's almost been dragged out a little bit. <laughs> Fortnite gods. I feel like it's just been dragged out a little bit too long, so the hype's just died down a little bit. If a cube movement had happened, like, really quickly, it just went straight to Loot Lake in, like, two days, it would be a bit more hype. Um, but the runes mean something. Now, the biggest theory that I've seen, I didn't want to talk about, is actually the fact that the something will happen either with the cube coming back out the lake or just some sort of rupture from the lake is some sort of damage to Tilted Towers. Now, I know it sounds a little bit crazy. I know everyone talks about Tilted Towers, but the biggest theory and the best theory that has come out so far from the runes is the fact that if you line up all the runes in the right order, they actually um, link and overlap with the outline, with the design of Tilted Towers perfectly, like literally perfectly. I'll show you guys a little like animation on screen here um, and it was uh, I think originally come from a Reddit user, I'll credit them on screen uh, and you, you'll see what I mean, like the room designs match either the buildings, either the roads or whatever design there is in Tilted Towers to give us some sort of hint that Tilted Towers will be affected in some sort of way and it's not over yet. Oh god. First one's the latest and greatest season 5 intel. Oh, come on, that was rude. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. How am I getting so low? Everyone stop shooting me. I haven't even left the lake yet. Chill. And I don't have any bandages. Okay, 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 please. Oh my gosh. Now, the reason I just want to share with you guys the theory of Tilted Towers being here is A, like, it's a bit cliche, the fact that, like, Tilted Towers is going to get hit again. Like, everyone always talks about it, so I wanted to leave it alone for a little bit. But the main fact was that the, the, the building... Oh, this guy's, this guy's trying to piece. Do you know about 100% accuracy, bro? Whoa! Let's go, baby! I feel like I'm literally, like, pigeon skeet shooting with these guys. There's not really much they can do, apart from just let me shoot them. This guy is so weak. So, come on, please let me finish you off so I can chat. Let's go guys, seven kills, we haven't even left Loot Lake. So apart from the fact that everyone always talks about, oh, Loot Lake this, Loot Lake that, was the fact that at the beginning of the season, they were really building where the meteor had gone. Let's not forget the meteor caused that massive divot in the ground. And, um, that has only been completed literally, like, last update, like, last week. That, that freaking town, that building has been around for, like, less than a week. Are you serious? What is going on? Can I not be left alone in peace and quiet for at least two seconds? Can my build stop going above my head, please? I'm like at the weirdest amount of health ever at the moment. I'm just gonna go for a med kit. I'm just gonna go for a med kit. And you, my friend. Okay. Okay. Forget that. I'm off, boys. You can do your thing. 
Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Any my shield. Thank you. We will know what the best ta tactic is to do to not be the one bouncing right now. There's a lot of, lot of um stuff I need to still loot over there as well. All right, a little bit of peace and quiet. Thank goodness. Is he coming over? He's coming over. He's got a grapple. If I do it here, at least I can right hand peek him. If he comes in, I'm just gonna RPG his face. All right, well, we're good. We're really good. Unless he had a load of minis and full shields, he's looking a little bit rough right now. Oh, you're trying to campfire, eh? Trying to campfire, that's cute. I'm gonna come and break this party right up. And not take a single piece of damage. That's how we do it, baby. Oh my god, the storm's coming in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Grab that. Grab that. Upgrade this. Okay. I know there's some minis down there, but they're gonna have to stay down there for the moment. Unless I can pull this off real quick. Okay, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Okay, hopefully that was worth it. Hopefully that was worth it. Ooh, baby, it is all kicking off, ladies and gentlemen. There's something right here. Chill, 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 chill. One of the easiest kills we've ever had. Not going to complain about that, that's for sure. Now, what I was going to say... I mean, I have to try and fit a lot of infos into these videos. Can't lie. What I was going to say is that the tower, the building in Tilted Towers, literally got crushed in half by the cube. For those of you guys who didn't see it, it literally happened like yesterday. The same day the cube went into Loot Lake, so you may have missed it. But you know what? Screw it. If Epic Games don't care about ripping up a building in Tilted the day, like the week it gets built... I don't care about Tilted getting destroyed. And I don't think they do either. Oh my god. So the theory... Wrong gun. That messed me up massively. So the theory about the ruins actually relating to the design of Tilted Towers, I'm fully behind now. And I think actually has some potential legitimacy. Let me just reload this button. Let's go. That's been something I've been focusing on a lot recently, is when I'm in a gunfight and I'm bouncing up and down, I don't use shotguns like... I pretty much have stopped using shotguns towards the end of the season because I just realized I'm not very good with them and SMGs are so much better. But you need to be able to track your opponent so well as you're bouncing up and down. And it's like a really fine adjustment. And I play on a low sensitivity, so it's not quite as hard. But for those guys in a high sensitivity, if you can pull it off, it's really, really worth it. Really, really worth it. So, Tilted Towers, ladies and gentlemen. The storyline does not finish. The events of Season 5 aren't even over yet. The runes still need to show their true colours. And I think an event happening with the rune, with the lake, with Tilted Towers is now the most likely option with it. Season 6 is literally kicking off in less than a week next Thursday. And we're going to be getting our first teasers, I believe, and I'm predicting tomorrow. So stay tuned and stay subscribed for it. I'm so, so excited. Just a few final basic question is, what's going to happen with things like the rifts, the rift, the porter rift? If I was being honest, I'd say I'm going to try and get this just so no one else can grab it. Otherwise, someone could easily use it and rift it properly. I, if I'm a belly man, think they're going to get rid of it. They got rid of the... Um, Oh, God, I can't remember the name now. Jesus. Yeah, someone was going for it. He's going to get it in time. Has he got it? No, I managed to stop him. Let's go. Just like the consumable hot rocks you could pick up last season went at the end of the season. I mean, I'd love to see the rift stay. Don't get me wrong. But if it's kind of like a seasonal, like, thing. You know what I mean? You could argue the fact that the rift has gone from above the sky. And they're still here means they're going to stay. Let me know. Do you want the rift to stay or do you want the rift to go? I would love them to stay. That's my, that's my take in it. I want the rifts to here to stay because they're great. But I think if I'm a money betting man, I think they're going to um, vault the porter rift and remove the rifts for um, being ready for whatever's going to happen in season six. Honestly. Ooh. Come on. That, I couldn't have tracked that much better. I know you don't get auto-aim on someone that's, uh, in the air like that. He's put himself in a bad position. I'm just gonna try and shoot down. 
Hold on. Hopefully this works. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Woo! I have had a few third and fifth place finishes today. And I do not want that to happen again. We're looking good right now. Got a really good amount of kills. Still... God, I thought I heard someone there. Still four more players left. Let's get back up on this mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Someone's above me. Someone's above me. Someone's above me. Ow. Ow. My God, build. Stay away. Stay away. Got an RPG, remember? I'm afraid to use it. Ooh. I think that was a hit. That was a hit marker on someone or something. I'm going to get myself into this ring. Break it down. Oh, that was disgusting. What, like 140 damage in three bullets? That was, I'd say, decent accuracy, if I do say so myself. But also just the simple fact... The bullet RNG was in my favor. Woo, baby. Okay. That could have been scary. Three more people to go. 12 kills. Can we get all of them to get 15 kills? If we can, I'll be buzzing. Honestly, I'm just so excited to find out what the theme for this next season is. Like, there is nothing at the moment. Nothing to go by. The first thing we'll find out will just be the teaser that we get hopefully tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe, guys. If you're not already, what are you doing? Okay, so these two guys are in a bang. Banging spot right now for the next ring. Like, literally. I'm in the worst spot here, but they can take each other out. Wait, this is only two of them, there's still three more. You just know, there's those two fighting and someone hiding in a house. I say it every game, I'll say it again. Because there always is. Alright, so I'm going to set up another um, jump pad and... Bounce pad combo nation. And then I need to work out the best place to land. I want to land on the biggest house really that's left here. I'm going to land on the middle sort of like um, covered area. And try and set up a little base there. And honestly I think I'll be in an amazing position. Okay here we go. Put this down. Bam. Now if the person that's not shooting appears out of nowhere and kills me. I will be very... Very upset right now. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. All set up, ready to move. Everyone else has gone quiet. This is it. This is where I either choke another season five game or I clutch up and get ourselves the victory royale with such a crazy start of a new new loot lake, can I just say by the way? Start. That's not how to land off of it. My bad, my bad. Person's still on the base to the right. God. It's not what I meant to do. Wait. Oh! This person has no shield, but they are building like a madman. Come on. Come on, give up! Yes! Oh! No way. She's been carrying the portal fortress this whole time. Ladies and gentlemen. My base at the end of the game. Looks pretty good. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. I'm going to make you guys a door. All right, everyone in, everyone in. Okay. Well, now that we're all in, no one else can come in. If you're not subscribed, you can't come into my portal fortress. Those are the rules. God damn, if only the P90 was reloaded. So they're going to. The only way you can get in now is actually by breaking it or building up. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on? Guys. Oh, here we go then. Here we go then. Bit of P90 spray. Oh my god. Look! He had a P90 as well! That is why I use SMGs only at the moment. I actually thought I may have just had my head melted off there. Woo! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with a legendary port of fortress 
finish off the game. 14 kills. Starting off at the new loot lake. It's it's not over yet. That's the summary of the video, guys. It ain't over yet. We've still got another week of stuff to come. Before Season 6 kicks off next Thursday, it's going to be mad. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Check out more videos right now, including seeing the transformation of loot lake in my Fortnite playlist down below in the description, which has every one of my videos. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'll see you tomorrow, potentially the very first Season 6 news.